That is the sound of new hope. The sound of people clinging to the need for better times. The sound of people opening a new page and finding yet the same thing again. I feel it every morning when I wake up, the load on my chest, it gets heavier every day. I long for the day when I'll get rid of it. Problem is, I don't know how to get it off. My life was going so well until I got the news. You have cancer. <laughs> He said it like it was nothing, like it was just malaria or the flu, a chew, right? <laughs> Wrong. It was cancer, the farthest thing from a joke I have ever known. Then everything fell apart, but I still had Vision 2030 to look forward to. Better health care for less money. <laughs> Fuchs. My friend Otis says to get proper treatment, I have to go abroad. You know, America. <laughs> because the cancer center still has no proper practitioners. Well, how long have we had that story? And the machines there have not seen maintenance since they were brought to the country. What about the ones that were to be brought in, you ask? <laughs> they disappeared. Just like the funds meant for Project XO and other projects. Well, this is my country. We have good people, but the selfish ones will finish us. It gets worse every day. The pain, my appearance, my desperation. Otis told me that the third harambe that was organized for me failed terribly. Probably because of high taxation. People barely have enough money for themselves. To be honest, <laughs> I barely have enough to survive tomorrow. I can't take this anymore. I have to relieve everyone of this burden of me. I know what has to be done. <laughs>